Hello everyone, thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. I am Vikram here, I am an SAP architect and I am going to discuss about certain topics uh, uh, regarding ABAP here. So just a recap of what we have done in the video 1. In the video 1 we discussed about the concept of ERP, SAP and ABAP by 4. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning, SAP stands for Systems Applications and Products in Data Processing, ABAP by 4 stands for Advanced Business Application Programming Language. 4 is 4th generation. Now in the second video we have discussed about the data dictionary, programming, OOPS concept that's object oriented programming and forms. These are the four different topics that we discussed uh, in the video too. It was just an introduction and we are going to discuss again the introduction part of conversions, enhancements, cross applications and Webdyne Pro in the video 3. And this conversions is a concept of a concept basically used to get the data from non SAP systems to SAP systems. It's called legacy system. So we basically upload the data from non SAP systems and load it into SAP systems. Basically we need to understand one very basic concept that SAP systems does not allow us to load the data directly into database tables. Database tables actually stores the data but we are not supposed to store the data directly into the database tables. It does not, the system does not allow us to even enter the data into database tables. This scenario is done because if at all, if anybody is dumping some data which is not a valid data, for example, for the name of a person, they have entered it as hash, 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 then that hash, hash, hash cannot be considered as a the employee number or uh, employee name or, or a name. So that validations are done at the screen level. So SAP simply enables us to enter the data only through the screens where the validations happen and only after that uh, validations that we keep uh, it's going to enter into the database table. So if you have 1 lakh records in the source system and all these 1 lakh records which are there in the source system that is non-SAP system or it is also called as legacy system then we will not be able to upload the data into our SAP system. Uh, because it is a manual work and, and uh, you know to automate that manual process of loading the 1 lakh records into SAP system we use the concept of conversions. Conversions basically what we do is we do uh, some basic recording and after that recording happens uh, then we are going to execute that program and after the execution of the program the data gets loaded from non-SAP systems to SAP systems and we are going to write uh, some code for that in this conversions. Okay. Let's see what are the different types of methods that we follow in conversions. In conversions, we frequently follow these four different types of methods in which we have BDC. BDC stands for batch data conversion. Again in this we have call transaction method and session method. Call transaction method is basically using a very simple logic. Session method actually creates a session. So for, uh, for straight uh, master data records, you can load you can make use of call transaction method and if there are any complicated uh, sessions that we can go for session method session method as the name indicates creates a session and we have to go go and run that session lsnw legacy system migration workbench is basically designed for the functional people to uh, upload the data from non sap systems to sap systems wherein all the programming is done in the form of screens and everything will be configured instead of you instead of we writing some code we do all the things in configuration and then we customize everything and according to that we are loading the data into the sap system bappy business application programming interface uh, is a very hybrid concept which is which can be used both as conversions and cross applications. I am going to discuss about what exactly is cross applications in the coming topic but as of now a BAPI is a very uh, very flexible kind of a concept in which we can upload the data from non SAP systems to SAP systems. In the recent times more rigorously they are using BAPI instead of BDC because in, in this we have a lot of flexibility of, uh, of you know uploading the data because in BDC if we have any screen changes those screen changes will not be recorded uh, will not be recorded in the BDC and we will not be able to upload the data. For example we have three fields and we designed the program for uploading only three fields and suddenly a fourth field comes 
then BDC fields. But in BAPI, we can handle that at the fourth field as well and then we can upload the data. So BAPI is uh, comparatively flexible and uh, it's an advanced concept. Direct input method, we are not going to do anything from our side. SAP by default gives a standard program for a standard transaction which we make use of to upload the data. All that we need to do is we need to give the link to the file. Enhancements concept. Before getting into the enhancements concept, we just need to understand a basic overview that SAP software has 90% of the coding, coding already done in the standard software. So what exactly happens is, if at all there is a standard transaction, for example, there is a transaction called VA01, which we make use of to create a sales order. Now let us, let us say you need a very simple change in that transaction code. For example, you want to add something into it, you want to put, put a push button or something like that. Some basic basic things that you have want to do there, then you cannot do that, uh, you cannot do that directly. You cannot modify the standard program. The only option is to add that functionality through enhancements concept. In enhancements concept, what exactly happens is the data uploads, uh, I mean like the, mo the modifications can be done in an enhancement uh, enhancement spot where SAP enables us to en enhance the uh, transaction or a screen. So the enhancement concept allows you to add your own functionality to SAP standard business applications without having to modify the original applications. In fact, we will not be able to modify the original applications. If you at all you want to modify the original applications, we need to have the access key which have to be requested to be sent from SAP company. To modify the standard SAP behavior as per the customer requirements, we can use enhancement framework. And in enhancement framework, we have two different concepts very frequently used. One is user exits, which is an old concept and bad is business add-ins, which is the latest concept. User exits is a concept which is uh, uh, basically having restricted options wherein uh, we, when we create a user exit and we assign it to a project, we cannot use the same user exit for another project. So we have to do the coding individually for every enhancement that we do. And BADI is very flexible and it makes use of object oriented programming. So it's very mandatory for us to get a good knowledge of OOPS concept before starting to work on the BADI concept. So all the latest uh, screen standard transactions or uh, programs have this BADI uh, enhancement framework in, in place so that we can make use of this concept to add some functionality to the existing code. Now, user exits, these are implemented in the form of subroutines and hence are also known as form exits. The user exits are generally collected in, 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 in includes and attached to the standard program by the SAP. User exits are a type of system enhancement that was originally developed for the R3 uh, SD module and user exits are empty subroutines that SAP developers have provided for you. You can fill them with your own source code, technically this is a modification. So technically it's modification, but you cannot edit the standard code. You can just add this at the empty place. Now, BADI business add-ins is a new enhancement technique based on ABAP objects. BADI is an exit point in a source that allows specific industry specific tasks, partners and customers to attach additional, additional software to standard SAP source code without modifying the original object. Then we have the cross applications concept. Cross applications is a concept in which we send and receive the data from various different systems. For example, we have RFC. This is one type of a, a cross application concept which we make use of to send and receive the data from non-SAP to SAP system and SAP to non-SAP system. So remote function call is very rigorous, will be very frequently used for SAP to SAP systems. ALE application linking and enabling is used to send and receive the data from SAP to non-SAP systems. Remember, whenever we are exchanging the data from SAP to non-SAP systems, it has to go through a third party layer or it is also called as interface. What exactly the interface does is, it will enable us to understand the other software's data and it also converts the SAP data into the other, other software's understandable format. 
that's a third party tool or interface edi is an outdated concept electronic data interchange was not created by sap it was adapted by sap and later sap themselves have created a concept called ali bapi as i discussed can be used either as a, a bdc or it uh, cross applications or conversions business application programming language and workflow is a concept is basically used for automating the process what exactly we mean by automating is for example you have applied for a leave and your manager is not yet replied for you so what exactly you you can do is you, you can simply wait for his reply but instead of that if a workflow is implemented in such a way that if your manager is not replying you back in 24 hours automatically this request will be escalated to his manager by default that that automatically goes to his manager or at least the manager uh, your manager will reply you back because he wants to avoid that escalation so this kind of a very basic things can be implemented in workflow and even the more com most complex operations in an organization can be implemented in workflow and automatically develops and processes it this is about the workflow concept now web time pro is a concept in is basically introduced to enable us to access the data or the screens of sap through websites basically all the screens that we develop and all the reports that we develop can be accessed only when you have sap logon pad but when you don't have the sap logon pad you can simply uh, you can simply you know browse the website or web browse a portal and then we can access the data if at all webdyn pro is implemented webdyn pro is a very important and a very revolutionary concept wherein we don't have to go for a go for a html coding for websites you can simply design screens web web screens in the web webdyn pro and we can populate the data into it or you can enter the data through the web screens uh, making use of the webdyn pro concept so web web enabled abap is what we can tell shortly in this because in the normal conventional programming we have uh, the data can be seen only through the uh, sap logon thank you for watching edupedia world videos